Okay, guys, that time of the year. Great time of the year for college football fans. We're going to talk through the BCS. We have the rankings here of the BCS. We'll talk about the games, the championship games, the lead into the BCS bowl matchups, and then we'll break down the Chick fil A bowl matchup. So here we go. You got your BCS rankings here, one through 10. You got to take into consideration now, Northern Illinois is 14th which places them ahead of an automatic qualifying conference in Central Florida and the American Athletic. If they can stay ahead of Central Florida in the final BCS poll, they have to be selected as an at-large. Uh, they've got Bowling Green on Friday, obviously a winnable game to win the uh, MAC championship. And then Central Florida has SMU. If Central Florida beats SMU, they win the American Athletic Conference. They also have to be selected as an automatic qualifier. So, that being said, let's move over to the bowl matchups as we see them, and we'll start with the conference games that lead into the BCS uh, bowls. Okay, the ACC, we got Florida State versus Duke. The winner of that game will win the national. Give it to FSU. And they do. Then what happens is FSU represents the ACC in the national. All right? You got Auburn, Missouri, and the Consumer Bowl. Whoever wins that game, let's say it's Auburn, okay? The name would represent the SEC. Alright, in the Super Bowl. Okay. Over here in the Fiesta Bowl, we got Big 12 winner. Oklahoma State's got a If Oklahoma State wins, they're in. If they lose, a Baylor Texas game played on Saturday, the winner of that game would represent the Big 12. Oklahoma State's favorite, let's say Oklahoma State represents the Big 12. Alright? And then you've got the Pac 12 championship game to fill one side of the Rose Bowl with Stanford against Arizona State. It's not Arizona State. Stanford is the highest ranked right now. Let's just say Stanford represents the Big 12. And then you've got the Big 10 championship with Ohio State, Michigan State. Ohio State's run number two, they're the favorite, let's say Ohio State. Films. The Big 10. Now what happens is, we got a national championship game to fill, all right? We have number one against number two to fill the national championship. Number one, number two. If Florida State wins against State on Saturday, they'll say number one. The ACC gets up their way to the national championship game, loses higher than the one more. Okay? Number two, if Ohio State is Michigan State, they're number two, we'll say number two. It's Ohio State. And Florida State will be number one, number two in the national championship game. The Big Ten champ has moved on to the national championship game. Okay. Because number one, Florida State has left the ACC, the Orange gets the first pick of all the rest of the teams left in the BCS. So as we go through here, we see for the top 10, some of these teams will lose. There's a Clemson team that right now is ranked number 13 in the BCS. If they stay number 13 in the BCS, I think the ACC stays true. If they have multiple stays true in the ACC, and they select Clemson to fill in for Florida State. But Clemson's got to stay in the top 14 for that to happen, okay? All right, let's go back over here. Since Ohio State number two left the Big Ten to the national championship game, I believe they will continue to stay true to the Big Ten and the Rose Bowl will select Michigan State. So, we got Michigan State, Stanford down in the Rose Bowl. We got Florida State, Ohio State down in the national championship game. Now what takes place is, the Orange gets the first at-large pick, the Sugar, the second at-large pick, the Fiesta, the third at-large pick, okay? So you look at the rest of the teams here, Alabama is in the top four. In the top four, you have to be selected. I think the Orange Bowl takes Alabama, and matches them up against Clemson. So we've got the Orange Bowl filled with Clemson against Alabama. The Sugar has the second at-large pick, and if you look at the Sugar Bowl, remember, we've got Central Florida and Northern Illinois that have to fill the last two slots. I think the Sugar takes Central Florida, the American Athletic Conference winner, and matches them up against Auburn. If they win, they can show you the Sugar Bowl. And then over here in Oklahoma State, you know, you got the Fiesta Bowl as the last slot, and right above that wall, they keep going green and stay in the top 16. More than will fill this slot. In the Fiesta Bowl. So, Fiesta Bowl, Oklahoma State, Northern Illinois, Rose, Stanford, Michigan State, Championship Game, Florida State, Ohio State, Orange Bowl, Clemson, Alabama, and Sugar Bowl, Auburn, Central Florida. And that's your BCS for 2013. Hey guys, as you know with the BCS, invariably something is going to happen that will blow this board up. I mean, a Missouri could beat an Auburn, a, uh, an Oklahoma State could lose to Oklahoma and Bedlam, and you could have a Texas or a Baylor here. Uh, so there's a lot still left for this to come to fruition, but that's what's great about college football and the BCS.